Shalom family, and I want to touch on this one specifically because this one really grinds my gears. Apocalyptic fears of the end times spark a perfect hotbed for the global rise in exorcisms. Exorcisms, the rituals of purging someone from demonic possession, have been on the rise, a boom that spans not only the U.S. but beyond. Andrew Chestnut, a chair in Catholic Studies at Virginia Commonwealth University, says no doubt there is a global exorcism boom, not just in the U.S., but also in Latin America. Almost like they're saying it's a sales boom, it's awesome, it's like a product. The driving force behind the surge, according to Chestnut, is Pentecostalism, the branch of Christianity emphasizing the power of the Holy Spirit, which rapidly became the most expansive brand of Christianity worldwide since its inception in Los Angeles in 1905. So they're referring to a part of the church as a brand. All right? Feeling the pressure from this burgeoning movement, the Catholic Church responded by mainstreaming Catholic exorcisms, by training more priests to perform them, thus trying to capitalize on their demand. Doesn't this sound like a retail like business document that I'm reading to you? Branding, capitalizing on demand, training. According to Chestnut, it's a free market of faith. Now it's a business. It's not about God or souls anymore. It's a free market of faith. And that's the main problem of the Catholic Church right there and why they've incorporated so many idolatrous evil practices within the church to capture those populations in this free market of faith and drive their numbers up. If you want to compete, there should be no competing within the church of God, if it's the true church of God, you have to offer the goods and services that people want. What the heck? Demonic possession and driving them out by the power of Jesus Christ is not a goods and services. It is not capitalizing on demand. It is not working on my branding. It is breaking chains and setting people free by the power of Jesus Christ. It's nothing about the church name. It's nothing about capitalizing or bringing more people in. It's nothing about any of that. It's about freedom through the power of our Messiah, Jesus Christ. And the church has so lost its way. Specifically, the Catholic Church, the Church of England and many others. That they are seeing it as a free market, a business market. That they need to capitalize on and compete with each other on goods and services. Prayer, goods and services, weddings, funerals, marriages, exorcisms, removal of demons. How many are they adding in at the same time so they can remove them later? Just stick to the word of God. Find yourself an on fire man of God that knows these things, has dealt in these things and are able to face these things. Messing around with demons is not something that is meant for everybody. It is God putting you in the situation to work with him, with his power to set lives free. I've never, when I've driven demons out or faced demonic presences and entities, I have never, not once in my brain, seen it as a branding exercise a marketing exercise or a goods and services exercise. I've seen it as a battle, a war between good and evil. And I'm coming with overwhelming power with God with me, having my back to conquer and destroy and break down the forces of darkness, to let God break chains and set people free. It's really quite ridiculous. And sad what the world's version of the church has come to. But it makes complete sense when you realize that there's going to be a one world religion that will ultimately worship the beast. God bless. Keep looking up. Shalom. One more thing. Acts 
chapter 19. Feel free to read the whole chapter. From verse 13. Then certain of the vagabond Jews, exorcists, took upon them to call over them which had evil spirits the name of the Lord Jesus, saying, We adjure you by Jesus whom Paul preacheth. And there were seven sons of one Sceva, a Jew, and chief of the priests, which did so. And the evil spirit answered and said, Jesus, I know, and Paul, I know, but who are ye? And the man in whom the evil spirit was leapt on them and overcame them and prevailed against them, so that they fled out of that house naked and wounded. You don't play with us. If you don't have a personal, intimate relationship with Jesus Christ, Son of God, Savior, and with His guidance, walk into these things. It is not a business. It is not something you can just do by His name and expect Him to perform. It is not how it works. You go to battle with God, not in the name of God whom you do not know, or follow correctly and biblically. Shalom.